Mama's Good News, episode three. Take one. <laughs> oh, wait. The trash can. Uh, the trash truck. Oh, so you're not referring to your ex? Okay. Just... Huh? <laughs> yeah. Take one. Welcome back to another episode of Soma's Good News. My name is Catherine. And I'm Angela. And I'm so excited because today we have plenty of good news to unpack. But before we start, can we talk about John Krasinski's graduation episode? Did you watch it? Oh my God, yes. It was amazing. I love seeing the graduates and how they got to talk to some of their role models. I mean, in ours as well. Who gets to talk to Malala and Oprah on the same episode, Everyone's Wild Dream Come True, am I right? I mean, can you sign me up, please? And now some words from Madam President Castro. Take it away. 2020 graduates, this is for you. There's only going up from here. We believe in you. Si se puede. Si se puede. In other news, which is also wonderful, we have a birthday celebration in La Tierra del Tango, Argentina. This celebration was for Salvador, who just turned four. Being that everyone in Argentina is still under quarantine, there aren't a lot of options for birthday festivities. Knowing that her son loves police officers, Salvador's mom called the local police station asking if any officer would pass to wish him a happy birthday. To everyone's surprise, they made a big appearance, giving Salvador a birthday he will never forget. Feliz cumple, Salvador! Feliz cumple, Salvador. Yay! This week also brought out the wonders of the innovation and creativity. There's a studio in Mexico that created a way for anyone to defeat the coronavirus. Well, not in real life. Oh no, God! Scientists are still working on that one. But in a video game, the game was created by a gaming studio named Estación B. The creators of this video game, which they are cleverly calling a Don't Catch It, allows a user to become a rescuer. The user's task is to rescue scientists while trying to combat anything harming the world, including the very infamous coronavirus. Don't Catch It is designed in a way to promote empathy and make people aware of the significance of working together. How incredible is that? If only we were living in that video game. The good thing is that we can learn from it and continue to work together to fight this virus. As the saying goes, stronger together. Amen, sis. Mumbai, India is pretty in pink and the sight is breathtaking. Considering that the world is quieter than usual this year, greater and lesser flamingos, you know, the tall and the short ones, are flocking in bigger groups. Well, this Flamboyance <laughs> okay. is appearing because it's breeding and feeding time for them. It's normal for the locals to see flamingos around this time of the year, but not this many. Last year, about 134,000 flamingos showed up. That number was increased to over 150,000 this year. All these flamingos are making the water look like a sea of pink. Too sweet. What a wonderful sight. Thank you so much, Kat, for that beautiful, beautiful news. Our next really good news piece revolves around farm workers. On Cinco de Mayo, the day that commemorates the Battle of Puebla, a virtual festival named Altissimo Live launched a day filled with Latinx public figures and a lot of fun. Altissimo Live was hosted by Eva Longoria and Enrique Santos, and they kept their audience entertained. The audience was treated to performances by many, many artists. But the reason for this event is what it makes it newsworthy. The purpose of the live stream festival was in support of the ones keeping all of us fed, the farm workers. The aim was to raise $3 million for the farm workers pandemic relief fund, 
This goes to show the world that it is important to take care of those who take care of us. Let's hope events like these continue to take place. Cinco de Mayo might have been very different this year. However, this celebration is even more meaningful and powerful. Mi gente, nuestra gente. That's what it's all about. Well, the time has come to see one of our favorite guests, La Abuela. Let's see what she has for us this week. She will be letting us know all the great things that is happening in the TikTok world, or how she likes to call it, el tiki tiki. Abuela, are you there? Hola, mujeres, ¿cómo están ustedes? Hola. Oye, ustedes llamaron a su mamá porque hoy es día de madre, pero hoy es día americano. Semeja, ¿cómo están ustedes? Oigan, oigan. Ustedes oyeron la, la tal Beyoncé, esa que. La Beyoncé, ajá. Ella hizo una canción con la muchachita esa que baila mucho. Ajá, que mueve ese cuerpazo que tiene. Tiene unos TikToks de. de, de ah, ¿Cómo es? Ama, ama, Sebi. Eh, ama, Sebi. Classy Booty Red. <ríe> Ajá, ahí, ahí le valecito ese porque yo no me caigo atrás, ¿no? <laughs> bueno, muchísimas gracias, abuela, for that update. And well, that's this week's Somos Good News. Thank you for watching and catch us next week on Be Latina News. Don't forget to show us some love. Share us with everyone you know. Let all of them know que somos very good news. Chao, bacalao. Wait, go for it. I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs>